Hey, it's Tony T. I'm Haroon. Uh, I'm Jack. I've known Scott and JJ since uh, at least grade 10 for JJ and Scott since probably grade 8. We all met in high school. Um, since grade 7, whenever that was. 5 to 7 years-ish. 3? 4 years by this point, yeah. Play Dota together. As far as like the kind of person JJ is, I guess this is where I have to start being earnest. Hey, be hmm. Uh, she's super helpful, very kind. Um, she's funny, especially um, if you put her in uh, Dota. She can be hilarious. Uh, JJ to me has always been a very interesting person because on the outside she's a softer person, but she's a little fireball on the inside. Whenever I hang out with JJ. It usually ends up me having not a good time because she turns everything into puns. And it's just puns after puns after puns after puns and I just can't get a word in anymore. She's really considerate. She's very welcoming, easy to be around. She just uh, has like an intrinsic sense of support. She likes to make sure everybody is happy and everyone is like doing what they need, like want to be doing and we're all having fun, so yeah. I think she's really good there. For the longest time, I kind of only thought as JJ is a really nice person, but um, I didn't really understand fully until we kind of talked about what we wanted to do um, further down the line as a uh, family docs. She said that she really wanted to incorporate kind of like an integrative medicine, right? So, and how she wanted to make a difference and whatnot. And me being me, of course, I laughed, but at the time, I think I kind of understood that she, she really cares about the people that she's close to. And she, I think she really, she's gonna make a really great doctor because she really, really cares about her patients. So yeah, I think, yeah, she's wonderful. She doesn't need to say that she's happy. She doesn't need to say that she's excited. You just feel it from her. And I think that's the kind of person that, that really uh, people need in their life because they don't always wanna hear something, but they wanna feel it. How do I describe Scott? If I had to describe Scott... Describe Scott? <laughs> Scott's a mother f Scott, I've had this discussion with, um, with a few people. We talked about Scott behind his back. And uh, he, he's definitely a leader. He's been the leader of our crew for God knows how long. Out of all of us, he's really good at, uh, he's really good at being a leader. I think Scott likes to take initiative. He likes to plan things and get us all together to do things. If anything, I've done more things because Scott is going there and I get dragged along with it. It's great. Honestly, if ever we do anything fun, it's probably because Scott asked us to go out. It's one thing I've noticed. You buy a lot of candy just all the time. <laughs> Every trip we go on, you just come up with bags full of candy all the time. I'm like, Scott, we're here for like a day and a half. Like, just, there's places at home, like you have clothing with you. Are you leaving some of it here? Like, just... Scott's very eccentric. He's uh, an intelligent person and he uses his intelligence with his humor in order to uh, perpetuate an eccentric attitude among his friends to make excitement, to create excitement. Scott's, Scott's really cool headed, I think. Um... He, he's definitely one of the bigger jokers in our group and he's really good at bringing everybody back together, especially if, um, if we're kind of at odds with each other. And this goes doubly so when we're playing Dota. You had five pounds. I remember watching you weigh them out and a big thing of like saltwater taffy. Like there was a lot. <laughs> And then you didn't have any, like, a month later. <laughs> what are you doing to your insides? The, it's probably just lined with sugar in your stomach. <laughs> I would say he's very witty. I would say he's committed to his girlfriend, which is honestly, like, very, like, uh, the way he is with JJ is, like, that's the way you want to be, you know? That's like, oh, you know, you, you go, like, hashtag relationship goals right there, right? Like, as a couple, I would think there are... Like a good match, I think they complement each other really well. Scott being a goofball and JJ being like, all right, I'll deal with this. 
<laughs> I think they share each other's humor. They share each other's curiosities. You can sense that they get excited about each other's lives and being involved. But Scott and JJ, they're... They full on love everything about each other and... They were pretty much made for each other, I think. They don't communicate a lot of that verbally in front of in front of people it's probably telepathic or maybe it's just contained in the cute looks they give each other when they think no one is watching although the other day hmm the other day i saw something i don't think i'll ever forget uh where they kind of started really just groping each other's heads and saying no 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 it was really weird i don't think uh i don't think i'm ever gonna forget that but i think in that moment yeah that's when I realized that they really did deserve each other, but yeah, hopefully I never have to see that again, so. It honestly didn't even take a year before everyone realized, yeah, these two are gonna get married. It's just, it's just, a, it's an eventual thing. It's not really, uh, is it gonna happen? It's when is it gonna happen? <laughs>
in I think that's like the first time I've ever heard him say Jennifer something something Jang. Um, so that that was probably a pretty big hit that something serious was going to happen. So, and then you know he got down on one knee and he proposed and you know. There are tears of joy coming down from both of them. Scott like could not help but cry while he was talking to JJ. Like it was it was a really cool event and I think it's a memory that'll last forever. Yeah. Honestly, one of the best days of my life. It was pretty cool to see. It was a really really sweet moment, I think. Um, I'm really glad I was there. Yeah. And so, Jennifer Fujang, will you marry me? Super happy for you guys. I'm glad I got this platform which I could express how happy I am for you guys. I really wish you all the best. Congrats. Uh, you guys are a inspirational couple. I, I hope that one day I will find someone that compliments me as much as you guys compliment each other. I know you guys will be completely and utterly satisfied if you two were the only two that existed in your worlds and fulfilled each other. But don't forget about us. Don't, don't drift away from, from us or, uh, or forget that uh, we love you uh, just as much as we always have and, and we'll continue to force our way and shoehorn our way into your lives in any capacity that we can. I don't know. Marriage is difficult, I guess. You know, you're gonna. It, it's. They say everything changes after you after you get married, right? And I think once you get married, um, that's when you. That's when you actually truly, truly, truly be, start sharing your life with someone. Um, I think it's gonna be different for you guys, and I think there's gonna be a lot of challenges going forward. But for a couple like you two, I think you're really. You guys are well equipped to pretty much face anything along the way. So I'd wish you good luck, but as I always say, you don't need luck if you're good enough. So yeah. Somehow I feel like nothing's gonna change and you guys will still just be great. It just seems like it's just one step through another um, in your guys' life together. I don't think that like this wedding, it may be formalizing something that you have known since forever, that you guys are gonna be together forever. And so congratulations and you know, keep doing you. Not anytime super duper fast, but have kids as soon as you guys can so we can all just gush about the baby. We can all just gush about it and then have fun with your little baby and then show it to Lulu, your little dog, and then just go a little nice little family together and then we'll all still play LAN parties around your baby and we're going to teach him to be the best Dota player ever. <laughs> <laughs>